Hello America, I'm back. Joe Simon's Retirement Think Tank. And yes, I did get a haircut. My wife thanks me and probably a lot of my viewers thank me as well. It was getting pretty long there in the back. But let's get down to business. We're talking about Social Security Day and really interesting here, this past week, Mr. George Will was on Fox News Sunday and said this about Social Security system. He said Social Security was advocated back in the 1930s as a way of getting people to quit working because they thought they were confined to a permanent scarcity of jobs in this country back then. Very interesting. And they, they were tying all this into Obamacare because some of the people that, that are critics of Obama think that that's very similar, that Obamacare basically gives people an incentive to not have to work because they don't have to have your job benefits anymore. You can get it for you know just being alive. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, the people supporting Obama do not think that and think uh, otherwise, and it's an incredible plan. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Social Security. But why I found this so interesting was not just because of George comment, George's comment, but people have now been looking up this, and some historians are looking into this, and, and people are now claiming that uh, there is a little bit of possible truth to this, and here's why. There's a gentleman by the name of Dr. Francis Townsend, and he created the Townsend Plan back in 1933. I've heard of this before and wasn't even that familiar with all the details of it until I started reading all this, and I was blown away. So back in 1933, you're going to love this. This guy, this doctor, he wasn't even... Um, I don't even know if he was really a politician for that matter. He was definitely not an economist by any means. And he came up with this thing called the Townsend Plan, and it was basically a pension. Let me read you what it was going to do. It was going to provide a $200 a month pension to citizens age 60 or older, and it was going to be funded on a 2% national tax on transactions. So you don't have to pay into it. It's just a complete freebie for being alive and breathing. And all you had to do was be 60 and not be a criminal, and you would get it. And, uh, oh, here's the cool part. You had to spend all the money within 30 days, so it was also more of a consumption thing and trying to get money back in the system. That, that part is pretty, in, pretty interesting. Um, the Townsend Plan, I'm reading, was, was explicitly supposed to, f expose, supposed to free up jobs uh, as well as stimulate the economy through spending. So that one really was, and he openly admitted this was to help to basically give an incentive for people to stop working and free up jobs. And then, of course, that 30 day window you had to spend. So, really, really interesting. Keep in mind, this is 1933. Let me tell you how big this thing got, just so you now can understand how this ties into Social Security. 1933, by the way, what I'm about to tell you, this was before internet. He didn't just go tweet this out to his followers. Uh, this was snail mail, probably by Pony Express. So um, no offense to anyone who was alive in 1933 watching this. Um, but within two years, he had 7,000 Townsend clubs around the country, and that was 2.2 million people. He got 2.2 million people excited and behind this that were working to make this Townsend plan the nation's pension. I mean, that was the ultimate goal is to get the president to sign off on this thing. And so a lot of these historians are saying is that because of the pressure that he was getting from 2.2 million people that were supporting this and these clubs all around the country, you know, two years later, ironically, FDR signed the Social Security Act and that this had a lot of influence on it. And once again, this Townsend Act was openly saying this is going to incentivize people to quit their jobs, which is why this guy, um, uh, George here, is, is saying his comments that he did. So go check this out. This Townsend Act, really interesting, or this Townsend Plan, really interesting. I was pretty intrigued by it. And uh, something that doesn't come up in, uh, in history lessons as often as it should. And in the meantime, we'll have a whole lot more on Social Security.